Hey, what's up everyone? If you've touched grass recently, you've probably noticed that leaves are falling off the trees, the days are getting shorter, and that inevitably means that Advent of Code is just around the corner. If you're not familiar with Advent of Code, it's a series of algorithm-focused problems or riddles akin to lead code or projects like Project Euler. But Advent of Code is delightfully Christmas themed. It starts every year on December 1st and goes until December 25th with the problems getting progressively harder every day. Kind of like a really nerdy advent calendar. And usually there's even a Christmas themed storyline associated with all of these problems. Usually something with elves having to save Christmas by driving a submarine or something crazy like that. It's always a good time and I always look forward to solving the first several days of Advent of Code before it gets too hard and tedious for me to continue. But when I'm up for a challenge, it's always nice to try a push into the later days as well. Now, every day of December, two new problems are going to be released. And for each problem that you solve, you get a star. Now, stars are kind of like the scoring system of the Advent of Code game. There's leaderboards, so you can compare with your friends who has the most stars. And for the hyper-competitive, you can also see the global leaderboards, which shows who got these stars the fastest. Now, if you're a true blue TypeScript developer, like me, you're probably looking forward to solving Advent of Code using your favorite programming language, TypeScript. However, setting up a new workspace to use TypeScript, especially one as unique as Advent of Code, unique because there's just so many isolated problems that we're going to be solving as part of the game. The TDM of getting everything configured so that you can just code is something of a roadblock for a lot of people. But here's the good news. I work at NX, and at NX, we're pretty much focused on building a really good tool set for building workspaces. In particular, TypeScript workspaces, but we're open to other languages as well. Now, part of this tool set is code generation to get all of your tools configured for you. And another part of this tool set is configuring a set of tasks that you're going to want to run as part of your workspace, like day 1A of Advent of Code, for example. So without going too deep into the implementation details, what we did is we created a package so that you can run one simple command and you can have an entirely configured TypeScript workspace specifically designed for Advent of Code all ready to go so that all you have to do is write the code to solve the problems. That's it. Let's take a look at how it works. All right, so I've got the brand new terminal here. I'm going to run the command npx create tsaoc starter. I'm going to use at latest here so we can get the latest version. So this is going to go and download our package and we're going to automatically start running the code generation to get our workspace set up for us. So once we're done installing our dependencies, we'll have a workspace set up here with PMPM, with NX, with TypeScript, with all the good stuff. So we're ready to go. So we're going to CD into TS AOC starter now and we're going to open our IDE right here. And now that we have our IDE open, let's just take a look around real quick. We'll notice that really what we want to be focused on is this puzzles directory. And here we can see we have a directory for every single day. And inside of these, we're going to have a TypeScript file here for part one, that's going to be day 1A. And then a file here for part two, that's day 1B. Let's go ahead and look at day one of last year's advent of code so we can see how this is working in practice. So here's last year's uh, day 1A problem. We can see that for this problem, we're going to be giving this input and we need to group this input by the empty lines and find the group with the greatest sum. And if we read down, the problem tells us for that this sample input right here, the answer is actually 24,000. So what we can do here is let's grab our sample input and coming back to VS Code, we're going to drop this into our day 1A sample data file. And now if we go into day 1A, let's go ahead and console log our data here. Opening up our terminal, I'll run the command nx day 1A, and we're going to give it the option here, data equals sample. So you can see here we have this read data utility and it's going to help us read in this file. So it's an array of every single line that's contained inside of this file. So once we know this, let's add a little for loop here. And let's declare a current sum and a max. And here we'll say if our line is empty, we don't want to continue. We actually want to say per sum equals zero to kind of reset our counter. And otherwise, we'll let Copilot just kind of do its thing. And that looks just about right. Uh, we're going to add the current line to the current sum. And if our current sum is greater than max, we'll set our max. 
And by the time we've gone through all these lines, we should be able to just return max. So let's see if that works for us. I'm going to just run the same command as we had before. And here we can see our answer is 24,000, which looks like it matches the answer for our sample data set. So now let's try this with the full data set. I'm gonna go down here to my link, and this is going to give me my actual data set that is unique to me. So I'm going to grab all of this, copy it, and we're going to come in and paste this into our data file here. So this is not our sample data, this is our actual data file. Once that's done, I'm going to open up a terminal again, and here we can run our command nx day one a, and I can actually remove the dash dash data equals sample, because this time we're interested in the actual answer. So I'm gonna hit that, and we can see that our answer here is 72,070. If we look back to my answer for 2002, this 7270 was the correct answer. So that's kind of how things work. At this point, we'd continue into day 1B, where we have a fresh boilerplate set up for us here as well, and we'd start into this. Now, most days tend to use the same sample data set and actual data set, but I've found that's not always the case. So that's why we have these additional text files. We can just kind of copy and paste these over from the first part if we need to. But yeah, everything should be kind of set up for us. And uh, as we can see here, this read data actually comes from this shared TS file right here inside of our workspace as well. So if you're noticing that there's some parsing utilities you find yourself using or just some functions that tend to be reused across a lot of your problems. It might be a good idea to drop some more exported functions right here into the shared file, and you can just import those into your other files as well. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. There's a lot of implementation detail here that we just glossed over, but that's kind of the beauty of an X, is that we just ran our one command and everything was set up for us. And we didn't need to worry about anything other than just solving our problem. And really, that's the broader goal of NX. Whether you're working on a side project here or something just for fun like Advent of Code, uh, you can create a workspace that's totally tailored to that situation. Or if you're doing something more conventional like creating a front-end application or creating a full-stack system, we actually have NX packages that are dedicated specifically to those use cases as well, including to specific frameworks, to specific stacks, and it's really easy to mix and match these to create a stack that's perfectly situated for your use case. So that's NX for you. But we're really looking forward to Advent of Code this year. We are official sponsors this year, so we're looking forward to that. And we're also going to create our own leaderboard for the NX community. And we're going to create a channel inside of our Discord so that we can compare answers, compare star counts, and share solutions. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check out the links below to sign up for our Discord. And if you're planning on streaming Advent of Code and you end up using our starter, we'd love to know about it. So please tweet at us or comment down below, and we'll do our best to feature your content. If you're interested in the code that I wrote to create this package, we've also put that source code up on GitHub as well. I'll put the link in the description below. So that's it, y'all. Hope y'all have a great advent of code and a great holiday season. We'll see you next time.